I'm Thomas McGritchie from Quick Spray. We're here at the 2015 World of Concrete. This is a Quick Spray carousel pump, inch and a half, specifically made for the vertical artisans for doing artificial rock. I'm here working with the vertical artisans and Nathan Giffen. This is what we call an eight air jet gun with a stainless tip. This is what we use to put the mud on the wall. Very simple pump, all air operated. It'll work off a 125 CFM air compressor. Air comes in here. Your forward and reverse is here. With your speed control. And this is the air regulator for how much pressure your gun's gonna be spraying. What you wanna do before you fire up the air compressor is to make sure this handle's in the middle, in neutral. You don't want it on. You know, when you start that thing up, you know, you don't want to have it all right. So make sure this is a neutral. You can go ahead and you can turn your air compressor on. After this is hooked up, the seat. That's forward. Pump goes in forward. This is your speed control. Dial in the speed. So turn it to the right, less speed. Turn it to the left, more speed. This is what we call the rotation indicator. So the guy on the gun knows how fast it's speeding. Now you can talk to the pump operator, this thing spins around right here. Alright? Um, as far as getting the pump going, what we're going to do is we're going to mix a really loose uh, slurry. Same mix, we'll just mix it real loose, put it in there, prime the lines with it, put it back into the bucket, fatten it back up, and then go on with the normal mixture. That way you guys prime and ready. Yep. This right, this right here is how much PSI the gun is taking. So, take this knob, if you want less or more air, whoever, whoever the nozzle man is, dial it in right here, and that'll lock it down and set it so nobody can move it What's a good pressure? Well, launch it, Dan? I'd run, I'd run about 40, 45, I'd say, for this. We'll see. If you get too much um, you know, scattered, we'll just back it off. How do you Plus, lock it, Dan? This little knob right there. So if it doesn't, if it doesn't turn, just loosen, loosen that up. Okay. Um, this is your water separator. So if you ever see if this starts getting full of water, just bleed the bottom pet pack out. Yep, this right here is full of 10 weight oil lubricant for the air motor. And other than that, this thing is that easy. How often you fill up that 10 weight? When it's going. Um, 30 hours. Oh. 20, 30 hours. The biggest deal that'll happen is you'll start getting, um, sometimes you get some water in here, so then maybe you want to dump it out. But the big thing is if this thing will sit for a month or something when you're not using it, you want to make sure that the motor is properly lubricated so you don't have that extra moisture in there, that you don't get a little bit of rust build up, and then the motor will seize. Fixing that problem isn't a big deal, you just don't want to have to fix it. Yeah. So you just want to make sure that there's no extra water in the system. You can always take this off, shoot it for a little WD-40 or something in there, if it's sitting. Other than that, easy peasy. All right, fire it up. Fire it up. And this, of course, is where your, your gun air goes in. Up to the back. All right, inside here. Are eight little jets. Okay. See them down inside there? Yeah. So your device is pumping the liquid, then the air atomizes it. Atomizes it at the tip. Yeah, it's, it's not like an airless system where sure. the, like a you know, airless gun where it just pressurizes it. You need the air. And depending on what you're shooting, it's, you just dial it into however much air you need. And that's why it's important you have a proper size air compressor. You, know, you need a 125, because as soon as you hit this thing, it sucks a lot of juice from the air compressor. You can't do it with the Home Depot one. <laughs> not with the Home Depot one. As far as cleaning it, we got an inch and a half sponge ball. Drop it down in the hole, turn it on forward, pull the gun tip off, the ball pops out, clean. Yep. Sometimes, you know, you probably get away with, you know, I normally pick it out twice. I'll pick it out with cement in it and then I'll just run some water through it to make sure she's nice and clean. Tell me what we're doing. Right now we're priming the pump. We got a really loose slurry mix in here. We're gonna pump that out and then we're gonna go with our normal mix. Go ahead and hit it with the ear so you can see what the pattern's gonna look like.
How's it looking, Nathan? So far, so good. Looking up. Yeah, I think so. Try to finish the area and move forward. Try to go in an S pattern like this, and that way you're constantly moving forward. Bring it on. Bring it on? Yes, sir.